Carol here, a warm welcome. And it, it is a little haul that I did not too long ago because you know I wasn't shopping for a while and I wanted to just share it with you before I share my birthday present from my friend Gail Duncan in Georgia. So I got another Fiskars press. I was in Michael's and went to the clearance and this was, I think it was $4. So now I have two of these <laughs> that are already in the box, which the first one I bought right here, which has lasted me forever, makes three. And I always go to the clearance section. We have, it's at the back. It's hard to find, you know, it's right cuddled up in a corner. Then this was $4 as well. I remember that, four bucks, yes. I already used it so it does have one of the glue sticks in it but I really do love these um, I have about six of them now I keep collecting them I mean for four dollars that's not bad and then my ATG gun I saw this in the clearance bin and I'm not sure if I showed you this but it was two dollars and seventy five cents and these do not come cheap this gold version and I think it's because somebody opened it. There's only one in there, but for $2.75, hey, it's one, and I use my ATG now quite a bit. So I wanted to encourage you to find your clearance section in your big box stores when you go in. And by big box, I mean Michael's Hobby Lobby, Tuesday morning, whatever. Here are the actual, and it is a Scotch brand, and here's the ones that come in the two pack. I've already used one out of each, but you can see the red uh, plaid tape, and it's the same on this one. So really, that is a really good buy for $2.75. And I don't care if somebody opened it up and they had to staple it closed. Glue is glue, and I use it up now, now that I've decided to use my ATG, because it is a very sticky double-sided tape. So that, yeah, I'm just taking that off. You know, I don't want to keep reminding myself. <laughs> that means I want to go shopping, right? Yes. So I treated myself because I haven't been shopping for quite a while, as you know. And I just wanted to share a few things that I bought. Nothing spectacular. No great big haul. Um, I found this as well at another Michael's. I had a doctor's appointment. There was a Michael's right by there. So I stopped in and I had a 45% coupon off at that Michael's. So I bought that. And then I bought three pens, you know, my Signo gel pens right there. I bought these ones and actually I think I only bought two because I used one coupon. They allow, always allow me two coupons. Uh, so at this store, plus they have the gold one, so you have to watch for that. I just set that as a side note if you like. And they have silver as well. So now I have the four gel pens. You can't be without them. And I always color code them so I know which are the new ones. Uh, the purple one there is just about running out. These are the two new ones that I bought at the Michaels using one of my 45% coupons because they're six bucks a pen. So that was a good deal at that store. And then getting this, I think this is like 10 bucks if you buy it. It is, it's not cheap, but you know, uh, excuse me, of course it's tape. You know, my dog's going to go across there if there's anything sticky. And it's for this mini Zyron. And I am just about out. And I remembered that when I was in the store. So I did get that. And I was doing a tutorial not too long ago where I did use my Stadler markers. These are 0 .03 and these are many, 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 many tips on these. They're just so fine. They're wonderful to have, especially if you do uh, brush lettering or you're doing all of this, um, I don't know, the word lost me there, but all of this fancy coloring. Uh, it'll come to me in a second. Look at that. Isn't that a fine tip? The 0 0.03 and it has also the fluorescent colors, which I love. Zentangling. I told you I have so many things stored up in my cranium. Then all of a sudden it just pops out like that. And I want to thank you for watching my tutorials that I did get up this month for LDRS Creative. And Stadler's a, a German-made company. It's from Germany, 
so you know it is a fantastic product. And our uh, stationery store in town, they sell Stadler. So every time I'm in there to get supplies for our business, I always check that out. Now, oh yes, I wanted to show this. In that same Michaels, and I used my coupon on this one too, it was 45% um, up because, I'm going to share it in a minute, I have had this set for a long time and I haven't used it. And it has these beautiful big rubber stamp flower set. And it came, well, it didn't come with it. You had to buy it separate with these uh, tabs, you know, that push everything out of your card. I'm going to show you that. So I bought it extra because I think each of these were like $20. And then the tabs were $20. But you can see how it lifts everything forward when you fold your card. And it has like ovals in it and it has rectangle dies in there. And then these mechanisms. And I haven't even tried this yet. I feel so bad. So I got it out. I do want to, uh, you know, give it a go and see if I can do some uh, 3D floral cards with it. These dies that look like mountains, they push out the flowers that if you put them in the jar... They push it out as a group. So I kind of like that. And then I knew that I had this when I saw this other eight tab set. So isn't that pretty? These stamps are really nice. And yeah, so I'm going to put these all back in so I don't lose everything. And I'm going to give that a go because I love shopping in my stash. And I haven't used this one yet, so I'm going to give that a try. And you can see off to the left there is the tab set. It's eight different size tabs, different than what is in this. I checked it out. They're not the same, but they're made by the same company, Stampendous. And here, they're so different, all these little tabs. And all you do is cut it out of your folded cardstock. See right there? Isn't that awesome? That was $24.95 in our Canadian Michaels with 45% off. So that was a good deal. And... You know, I love 3D cards, so I thought, well, you know, 45% off. And I had just seen my spe a specialist that day, and I was in this Michaels, and I thought, I'm just going to treat myself. So I did. I treated myself to this tab collection. And then we're going to go on to the package that I just received for my birthday. Yes, that's why it said happy birthday to me. This is from a subscriber friend. Gail Duncan from Georgia. Hey, Gail. She made this. Woohoo! Happy birthday. She made this out of paper. These are those paper um, uh, jewels, I'm calling them. They're, uh, they look like glass beads, but they're paper beads. And you roll them like that, and they are like, I couldn't believe that she said that in the note. I was thinking they were glass beads, but no, she rolled these out of paper. And she said that she remembered I said on a tutorial I love pink and black. And I do love pink and black. So thank you, Gail. Not only that, wait till you see this package. Wow. I was blown away. This was so thoughtful. And the card that she made was gorgeous. Now, it's something funny here because she says now that I make four-sided cards, so does she. <laughs> Three to four-sided cards. Right, Gail? Look at how beautiful. And this is like flat. If I'm right, I may not be, but I think it's from the Anna Griffith uh, set. Uh, you see Gail Duncan on there, handmade. And it's beautiful. It's heavy, just the way I like my cards. I already have it in my craft room where I, where I put my cards that I receive. And this is luxurious, Gail. It is absolutely stunning. Just beautiful. I love cream. I love pink. And I love this card. It was very thoughtful to do that for me. I really appreciate it. So this is going to hang in my room. Well, it's not going to hang. It's on a counter that I have. It's so crazy pretty. And I'm going to move that along. And that's my note. I'm going to cover my note because it's a beautiful note. But, you know, it was, it was sent to me. So I'm going to, you know put it in a private spot because it was a beautifully thoughtful, encouraging note. And then she cut these out and put them at the bottom of the card there. So that's a great idea if you don't want to write on your card. 
And Gail said if I wanted to forward this card on. Oh, no, I don't. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to keep that card, of course. Then she sent me this couture collection. It's Creations by Simply Defined. I think that Stacy uh, makes these. It's for the Go and Press. I don't have the Go and Press, but I'm going to tell you, I am working on something that if you don't have this Go and Press, I know you have this one tool in your, in your household, not even in your craft room. I am trying to make these work with that one household tool. So I'll put that video up when I perfect that. And then there is this set. I wanted to keep it aside here so I could read it to you. I have never heard of this flower um, that's on there. It is a foxglove. I've never heard of that. And then you put it, you stamp it, and then you use the die cuts and make it so that the side of the card is all cut out with this one beautiful flower, fox, fox glove. That's beautiful. Can't wait to, that's by Gemini. And these are the window card. The one is a window card. I'm looking at them right here, Gail. And it's called, one is, that one's Highland Christmas. And I think this is for the cut foil and embossed die. So I'm not sure if that one is for the actual Go and Press, but we shall see. I'll try running these through my mink. Aren't they beautiful? But they do look like the Go and Press ones. I have to check that out. And that's by Couture Creations. So pretty. Now, Gail knows I love stickers, and this is actually a double embossed sticker. I took one out to show you because it is see-through, like it is beautiful so whatever you put that on the color behind it is going to show through and you know I love gold and Gail knows I love gold so these stickers this is MD transparent not sure where this one came from but I'll try to look it up and uh, look at that is that not gorgeous for a corner of a cart or on your envelope when you send an envelope out, that would be beautiful down on the corner. So thank you very much, Gail, for your thoughtfulness. This just really, oh, I tell you what, I just lost it when I opened it up. I mean, I was just sniffing and sniveling and crying, and I was so excited. I'd never seen anything like this, such just a real thoughtful gift to me. And it was totally by surprise, and those are wonderful. And this one's by Dazzles, and it's called Stitch Flower Stickers. So that was gorgeous. And I have never seen these either, either, either. I haven't seen them. I have them right here. They're an actual embossing folder with the die permanently inside. And then it has the three dies by Sizzix that fit inside the die cut that you die. So you're getting an embossed area from your embossing folder but right inside that folder is this die like stuck right in there i have never seen this this is the first time and it's made by sizzix but you know it goes to show you i don't watch a ton of tutorials uh, with products because i'm too tempted to buy the stuff so yeah i haven't uh, shopped in a, probably about a year so um yeah, I haven't been around. I don't know if how new these are, but those fit inside this embossing folder. So I set these out because I'm going to give these a try. I really want to see what they look like. They're beautiful. With the tree and then a happy birthday cake. Oh yes, I have a few birthdays coming up. So this is a beautiful card for a quick birthday. You just run it right through. You get the die cut. You get the image embossed. You can't ask for anything better than that. And that's by Sizzix. Now, this uh, one blew me away. And that's why I thought maybe your card was from Anna Griffith. Because I looked at this, and this is six cards made with this die. And you get the die and the outside die. So you get the outer and the inner. And it's eight inches across. I'm pretty sure it's eight inches across. It's right here. Let me just see. This is stunning. And if you make albums, and I'm going to make one soon... Uh, this would be beautiful for tabs. Let me just check. Is it eight inches? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
seven and a half inches across. Isn't that gorgeous? And there you have it, my friends. This is such a wonderful surprise. Thank you to everybody that wished me a happy 65th birthday. That was wonderful. I'm just putting these back in and then I am going to show you, uh, look at this. I want you to see this card. I can't believe how weighty it is. It's just like my cards. I love that. I had to show it again. It's so pretty, Gail. Just uh, with the gold touch to it. So very, very thoughtful. So to everybody that sent me an email over and wished me a happy birthday, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And you can see in the background, I'm getting ready to do my, uh, they call it a dirty pour on a canvas. So I have all my things out off to the left-hand side there. As you can see, I'm going to give that my first try. I have watched some tutorials in the last little while, and I really do like the look of that. So, um, and here's the paper I used on my canvas project, just the video that went up yesterday. And this is made by B, I think. And you know what? You gave me two sheets of paper, Gail, in that box, and I think you have this same paper. It's six by nine, 140 pound watercolor paper, and it's all cotton. So it really absorbs everything well. Oh yes, I got another box of this. This is my second box I got at uh, Michael's here. It was, I think it says 17 or 12, I can't remember, but it is eight by 10 canvas. I'm just taking it off there. And it was 425, I think that said. Let's just see, 425. And then I think it's because it was 2018 that they had it left over. So I got two boxes of those. So that was great. That was a really good buy. Now, here's a funny thing that I bought. I have to show you this. You are going to laugh. I was in Michael's and saw this. I was so excited. It was like $47 regular and it was on for like $24 or $20. And I thought it weighs nothing. So it's made out of balsam wood. It looked so real and I brought it home. I mean, wait a minute. And I never noticed this. <laughs> it has no ears. The bunny has no ears. And Hunter, for his birthday, he loves rabbits. He just likes rabbits. And I thought, oh, he'll love this. So I bought it. And I showed his mom, my daughter-in-law, and she said, um, did you, I don't want to say anything, but did you notice that they, his ears fell off, so they stuck a hat on it. <laughs> Can you believe it? I paid $27 for it. And I stood there with it in my hand. I checked it out like crazy. And I said, wow, it's like $20. Well, yeah, it this bunny has no ears. It's an earless bunny. Make no wonder I got a buy on that. It was like half price, but I'm still going to have it in my craft room. I can't give it, I couldn't give it to Hunter because he'd wonder what happened to his ears. So I thought, okay, I'll put it in my craft room. Now, this is just a reminder. I just checked my dollar store where nothing's a dollar and they don't have any more of these yet, but they are coming in. These nice soft, they'd be great for pan pastels. And remember I showed you these are their rage right now and they're at the dollar store. So you don't have to pay a lot of money. I have to pay more than a dollar, but not very much more because nothing in my dollar store is a dollar. Can't figure that out, you know. And then my sister came over and she gave me a beautiful birthday uh, present. And in that, actually it was a nice pair of leather shoes for the summer, white shoes. And... Uh, sandals so that was nice and in there she gave me this stamp set now they are individual letters but I am going to work it as a background stamp so that was very nice thank you very much Barb she is very thoughtful when it comes to my birthday all my sisters are so thank you very much Barb I wanted to showcase that and have yourself a blessed week thank you for sharing in on my birthday present from Gail and for my little haul and I will see you on the next tutorial. Take care, everybody.